drivers strike and kill an estimated 13 pedestrians every day. Advocates are now calling for steps to be taken to make America's roads safer. CBS's Chris Martinez reports. In September, more than 100 people came together in Belton, Missouri to remember Jacob Zimmer and Cody Langer. The teenagers were walking along a frontage road with no sidewalk at night when a van hit and killed them. Over the last decade, we've had almost 50,000 pedestrians struck and killed while walking on roads in the United States. Emiko Atherton is the director of the National Complete Streets Coalition. The group's new report says pedestrian deaths increased 35 percent from 2008 to 2017. One reason? People are driving more and often in larger vehicles. More people are driving SUVs and trucks, which we know kill pedestrians at a higher rate. Distracted driving is also an issue, but Atherton says many of America's roads have a dangerous design. Modern streets are often wide with higher speed limits and longer blocks. Because there are fewer lights and crosswalks, pedestrians tend to run across where they shouldn't. Many of these roads can be found in the nation's sunbelt. Pedestrian deaths are highest in those states, with Florida at the top of the list. Florida really epitomizes big, flat, wide roads and sprawling land use. And when you look, there's a high link between sprawl and traffic fatalities. The coalition is calling on Congress to make changes, like lowering speed limits in areas where there's a lot of foot traffic and adding more crosswalks with ample time to get across them. No one should be killed while they're trying to cross the street. But Atherton believes that won't happen until policymakers make pedestrian safety a higher priority. Chris Martinez, CBS News, Los Angeles. The National Complete Streets Coalition also wants to see better street lighting so drivers can see people walking at night.